Hello students, welcome back to my channel Competitive Botany. In this video, you are going to learn the types of linkage. So linkage is a phenomenon uh, the the genes present on single chromosome they inherit together to the next generation without crossing over okay so they do not tend to separate so that phenomenon is nothing but linkage that's why we are getting more parental combinations in the progeny so let's see the types of linkage in a, in this video uh, depend, depending upon the presence or absence of non-parental combinations, uh, linkage is divided into two categories. That is complete linkage and incomplete linkage. Let's see the first one complete linkage in this video. So complete linkage that means uh, genes are linked completely they do not separate while going to the next generation whatever the genes present on single chromosome they transferred as it is to the next generation that means here only parental combinations obtained in the progeny uh, recombinants were not obtained in the progeny. So, complete linkage was observed by Morgan in Drosophila. Okay. When uh, he crossed Drosophila having grey body and normal wings with the female black body vestigial wings. He obtained F1 hybrids with grey body normal winged one hybrids. Okay. That means grey body is normal wing is the dominant character. That's why he obtained grey bodied normal winged F1 individuals. When he, he subjected them to uh, cro a test cross with double recessive parent recessive parent nothing but black body vestigial wings he got f2 progeny he obtained all offsprings they resemble two grandparents okay so the results indicated that there is no crossing over observed so i will tell you what is crossing over in the next session okay so that means uh, they do not tend to separate. They are not separated while forming gam gametes. They went as it is. They, they transferred as it is to the next generation. That why we, we cannot get here the recombinants. Okay. So that means grey body character uh, is inherited together with vestigial wings as well as black body character is associated with the long wings both are uh, linked genes that's why they are not separated during the formation of gametes this type of linkage is nothing but complete linkage so let's see the cross made by morgan in drosophila okay so complete linkage observed in drosophila by morgan this was first observed by bridges okay so he has taken parents such as black gray gray body normal wings black vestigial wings okay gray gray body color and normal wings black colored body and vestigial wings so he crossed them uh, to get f1 progeny so these are the gametes obtained so let's see the gametes so from this uh, we are getting bv okay capital b capital v gamete uh, from this also we are getting single gamete that is small b small v gamete so they combined to form a f1 hybrid having dominant characters such as a gray body normal winged plant okay so gray body normal winged uh, drosophila sorry okay so when the f1 hybrid he subjected the f1 hybrid to the test grass he crossed the f1 hybrid with uh, with a double recessive parent this cross is nothing but test cross okay 
So he crossed the F1 hybrid with a double recessive parent. He get the progeny. So from this two gametes will come. From this double recessive parent only one gamete will come. So they fuse randomly. So we are obtaining again F2 progeny. Two F2 progeny. So only two individuals obtained. They are of course. You get uh, many individuals in their progeny, but all are having same phenotypes. That means grey long, that is dominant parent, and black vestigial, that is um, recessive parent. Okay, so they resembles the their grandparents. They resembles their grandparents. So that's why uh, we are getting uh, only fifty percent, fifty percent. That means one is to one ratio. So there are no recombinant formation. Only parents were obtained in the F two gener generation. That means there is no crossing over observed between these two. Uh, chromosomes crossing over is absent okay because the, these two genes are uh, completely completely linked together they do not tend to separate uh, for the formation of new varieties or new recombinants that's why we are getting only parental combinations in their next f2 generation so he observed that morgan reported complete linkage in the drosophila Okay, so let now let's see the incomplete linkage. Let's see the incomplete linkage. Uh, if the frequency of crossing over occur in between linked genes, that means if the crossing over is present in between two genes, uh, then we are getting recombinants in the we get recombinants in the next generation due to crossing over. The crossing over is nothing but a phenomenon where the two chromosomal segments are exchanged in between non-sister chromatids during meiotic prophase. I will explain you. Don't worry. Okay, due to crossing over, new combinations are produced among the offsprings. So this phenomenon is nothing but incomplete linkage. Incomplete linkage is a very common in all individuals in all organisms. This was first observed by the scientist Mays, uh, by the scientist Hutchinson in Mays. So he crossed two varieties that are colored and full seeds. Full means normal seeds, and with the another variety having colorless shrunken seeds. So he get F1 individuals all dominant. They were colored and full seeds. That means um, uh, colorless shrunken seeds. The uh, seeds are uh, recessive individuals. Okay. So when he test crossed F1 individual with colorless shrunken seeds, uh, he get four. Types of where uh, four varieties, four F two progeny. So let's see the four types of F two progeny. They are colored full, colored shrunken, colored full, colorless full, colorless shrunken. So here, uh, due to crossing over, uh, look at this uh, two varieties. These are the uh, hybrids actually. So they are obtained uh, in very less proportion. So the due to crossing over. So this is this is showing incomplete linkage, not completely linked. That's why we get the recombinants in the progeny. So, so let's see the cross incomplete linkage observed in maize by Hutchinson. Okay, so he crossed two different individuals. They are colored full seeds, colored and full seeds. Uh, plant we uh, is crossed with uh, colorless shrunken seeds. So these are the gametes here. One type of gamete will come here also. Uh, when they fused together, we get F one individual that is having capital C capital S genes. That's why we get only hybrids that is dominant hybrids in the F one progeny. You all know that. So when F one hybrid is a uh, back 
crossed with when f1 hybrid is back crossed with uh, uh, i mean test crossed with uh, a recessive individual that means colorless shrunken colorless shrunken uh, when it is crossed with colorless shrunken plant uh, we get uh, uh, four progeny so during the gamete formation in between these two in between these two chromosomes crossing over occurs why because these two or the heterozygous chromosomes you should remember this condition is called as heterozygous small c and capital c and small c capital s and small s so when capital c capital c present that condition is a homozygous condition when small capital s and small s present uh, sorry when capital s and uh, capital s present that condition is homozygous but here the condition is different these are the heterozygous chromosomes that that means they undergo a phenomenon crossing over during the formation of gametes so have a look here they undergoes crossing over here capital c gene is present capital s gene is present here small c gene is present here small s gene is present when they prone to crossing over when they undergoes a process crossing over so two types of gametes will be observed so they are the hybrid gametes actually so i will tell you what is crossing these two are the diff two different chromosomes okay so this is one chromosome with colored capital s colored uh, seed with uh, cap capital c and capital s capital c means colored capital s means full seed okay so here the another chromosome is having small c and small s that means colorless and shrunken so these two are the two heterozygous chromosomes two homologous chromosomes that means they are having heterozygous condition that means capital c capital s small c small s colored uh, full colorless shrunken okay uh, when they are going to gametes they undergoes a process called crossing over during meiosis there are uh, meiosis is again divided into uh, five uh, four phases that is prophase uh, metaphase anaphase telophase so prophase is again divided into five sub phases they are leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene diakinesis during when they are going through the meiosis there is a crossing over occurs in the prophase during a pachytene stage during zygotene uh, the homologous chromosomes they they get paired to one another so during pachytene uh, they are, they exchange their chromatin they they exchange their chromatin in between non sister chromatids of uh, two homologous chromosomes so let's see what is the um, what is a uh, crossing over okay here you can see what is crossing over okay so it is occur it occurs in pachytene of meiosis okay so these are the uh, two homologous chromosomes that means this is one homologous chromosome this is this is another homologous chromosome having uh, heterozygous condition so when they uh, go through crossing over they exchange their chromatin wherever the chiasma is formed so you can get the gametes like uh, hybrid gametes you you get uh, due to uh, crossing over let's see the gametes okay this gamete is having capital c gene this gamete is having capital s here the small c is present here the small s is present so what what uh, what actually occurs here is the exchange of chrom chromatin segment okay so here to here the chromosomal segment is exchanged here to here okay then what will happens the hybrid gametes will be formed due to this hybridization due to this crossing over we get recombinants in the next generation 
so i will explain you in detail what is crossing over in the next video okay so let's see uh, now we are going to see the diagram so these two are the crossing over gametes okay crossing over occur in between these two chromosomes that's why hybrid gametes are formed okay now uh, due to the a combination of these gametes okay so this gamete will going to fuse with these four gametes we are getting the f2 progeny so have a look the f2 progeny uh, showing four different phenotypes okay so these two are the parental combinations actually colored full is a parent uh, colored less shrunken is a uh, i mean grandparents these are actually these two are uh, recombinants recombinants are formed due to crossing over only of course they are obtained in only 4% yearly okay of course only 4% obtained remaining 96% are obtained parental combinations due to the linkage only okay due to the linkage only let's see the factors affecting the linkage so many physiological and environmental factors affecting the strength of linkage. See first distance. Distance between two genes increases the chance of linkage is decreases. Okay. So closely related genes are showing strong linkage while genes widely located they are less linkage or weak linkage. Okay. That means they are both both are distance and linkage both are inversely proportional to the uh, each other. Okay. So let's see the age with an age uh, with increase in age chances of crossing over decreases okay so crossing over decreases when the age increases okay so let's see the temperature rise in temperature causes the chances of chiasmata formation so it decreases the strength of linkage okay so let's see the next x-rays when uh, when the chromosomes are exposed to x-rays that reduces the strength of linkage so let's see the significance of linkage linkage helps to keep parental features together by reducing the probability of gene recombinations due to linkage only we are getting more parental combinations than the recombinants okay thanks for watching